What's the deal with the observable universe? Well, in essence, it's the component of the whole shebang that we can actually see and use our telescopes to poke at and study. But there's a catch. Light, which is how the majority of our information about space travels, can only move so quickly. That means we can only see stuff that's not too far away. Anything that happened way back when is too far away to see directly. Scientists conclude that the observable universe is about 93 billion light years across. That's way bigger than the universe's approximate age of 13.8 billion years. How does that function? The universe then is getting bigger all the time. Things that used to be close are now super far apart, and it takes significantly more time for light to arrive at us from them. The observable universe is huge and mind-blowing. We have only begun to scratch the surface of what's out there. With tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, we are expanding our knowledge of how it's all put together, what it's made of, and how it got here. Want to see crazy things that James Webb just found? Make sure to subscribe to our channel for all the space updates. Like this video, and then click that alert bell. Now, what's past what we can see? To get to the really far off places, we need some wild tech that can mess with space and time, like warp drives or wormholes. These have been the subject of debate among scientists for ages. Some believe they are impossible or in violation of the law, that you can't go faster than light. Whether it's going warp speed or using tools way smarter than anything we currently have, it's all up for debate. The theory of cosmic inflation says the whole universe is at least 10 to the power of 23 times bigger than what can be seen. That's a number no one can really imagine. Because we cannot measure or see that portion of the universe, we don't know for sure what's out there. But that doesn't mean we can't come up with ideas based on what we see from really faraway galaxies. That's where outfits like NASA come in. NASA, along with other organizations, has done a lot to assist us in comprehending the universe. Prior to the James Webb Telescope, NASA was disseminating ultrasonic images from the Hubble's deep field. But when the James Webb came online, they pointed it at the most distant galaxy we've ever seen. The pictures showed galaxies shining way back when, millions of years after the Big Bang, like 13.8 billion years ago. Because the cosmos is growing, light stretches out to longer wavelengths, which is why the James Webb is able to detect infrared light. This has allowed us to watch galaxies as they formed way back in the early universe. The James Webb Space Telescope has been used to observe distant galaxies so scientists can examine the rate at which stars formed in the past. According to the data, there were many galaxies making stars ages ago. These discoveries are very thought-provoking. They raise the question of whether or not we're alone in all of existence. These results make us believe that there are millions of galaxies in the part of the universe we can't even see. It's a crazy thought that makes you wonder about the cosmos. Are there extraterrestrials out there? The idea of life beyond Earth is stronger than ever making us think about the possibility of extraterrestrials. There are a lot of planets outside our solar system known as exoplanets that have been discovered using methods like the transit method. Some of those exoplanets might be similar to Earth and could possibly support life. This idea gained momentum from a different discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope on the exoplanet WASP-96b. This planet's light spectrum has something bizarre. It has water molecules. The spectrum even suggests fog and clouds. So, based on other habitable zones, it's hard to say there's no chance of alien beings in the search for exoplanets. We lack solid evidence, but what we have discovered hints that life elsewhere is possible. What about the multiverse? When considering the observable universe's size, many possibilities exist. The concept of the multiverse is that there are parallel universes or dimensions out there other than our own. Quantum physics talks a lot about it, which is all about tiny particles. Some think that when we observe a quantum system, it picks one state. But the many worlds idea says that observing it simply divides the system into various states. The multiverse remains merely an idea and there's no real proof. Some thinkers and scientists believe it's interesting and might help explain things. Others are not so sure about it. 
Since we don't know what's outside our universe, we can't rule out a multiverse. People are drawn to this idea because it's thought-provoking, but we need more research to back this up. Is there a dark flow? It is challenging and brings up intriguing thoughts. Dark flow came up around 2008 as a means of explaining why galaxy clusters appear to move at a faster rate than necessary. The idea is that some sort of dark matter or energy is pulling these clusters in a certain direction. But not everyone acknowledges the existence of dark flow. Some claim that it might be due to a giant structure pulling on galaxy clusters. Others haven't been able to find dark flow and think the movement is from other causes. We can't know for sure if it exists. Research to understand it. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Also, remember to like this, subscribe, and watch the video. One of the biggest mysteries in cosmology raises questions dark energy and dark matter. They make up approximately 95% of the universe. Dark matter is approximately 27%, while dark energy is 68%. Even though they have so much power over the universe, we haven't been able to see them directly. Based on the locations we've found that could support life and how far we have come in our search for exoplanets, it's hard to say for sure that there's no life on other planets. We currently lack solid evidence, but the hints demonstrate that it is entirely possible. What is the multiverse like? When it comes to how big the observable universe is, the possibilities are endless. The concept of a plurality of many worlds is a theory in physics and philosophy. It says that there might be multiple universes or dimensions beyond our own. The multiverse often comes up when talking about quantum physics, which studies tiny particles. Some ways of understanding quantum physics say that observing something can make it settle into one state. But many people believe that observing something just splits it into different states, each of which has a different effect. It's important to remember that the multiverse is merely a concept and we do not have any genuine evidence. Some scientists and thinkers find it interesting and believe it could help explain things, while others are doubtful. Since we have no idea what's outside our universe, the multiverse is still like Schrodinger's cat or the nature of the dark, an idea that makes you curious and think, but we need more research to be certain. Does dark flow exist? It's a complicated question that raises an interesting issue. In 2008, a dark flow appeared as a way to explain why some galaxy clusters are moving faster than they ought to be based on the nature of matter dispersed throughout the universe. The idea is that dark matter or dark energy might be pulling these clusters in a certain direction. But whether dark flow is real is still up for discussion. Scientists can't agree on whether or not it is present. Several studies suggest that dark flow might be real and could be brought on by a substantial structure pulling on galaxy clusters. But other studies haven't found dark flow and assert that the way the galaxy clusters are moving could be due to other things, such as mistakes in our measurements. Although some studies suggest that it might be real, we can't say for sure if it's really out there beyond what we can see. We need more research to understand this interesting idea. The universe, with all its size and complexity, demonstrates how incredible scientific discovery is possible. Whether we are uncovering the secrets of dark matter, looking for evidence of extraterrestrial life, or studying the aim of space, trying to understand the universe will likely continue to shape human history for a very long time. Will humans ever leave the observable universe? As we think about the future of space travel, a question comes up. Will we ever find a way to go past the observable universe? Despite the fact that it goes beyond our technology today, it goes beyond science fiction. It shows how much humans want to explore and understand what's out there. Right now, even getting to the nearest star system, Alpha Centauri, would take tens of thousands of years with one of our quickest spacecraft. Escaping our galaxy, much less the observable universe, would need breakthroughs in how we move, how we produce energy, and perhaps even how we understand physics. One concept that is frequently discussed is warp drives. These are systems that would alter spacetime to permit us to move faster than light. 
Influenced by Einstein's general relativity theory, ideas such as the Alcubier drive suggest we may be able to reduce the space in front of a ship and spread it out behind it, creating a bubble that moves faster than light. But the huge amounts of energy it would require and the unidentified effects on physics are major issues. Another concept is wormholes, which are ways to get around spacetime that could connect faraway places in the universe or even different universes. General relativity says wormholes might be possible, but maintaining their stability long enough to travel through and ensuring they don't collapse due to gravity is still merely an idea. Whether it's through these unusual methods or novel physics we have not yet discovered, our descendants may one day surpass our current view of the cosmos. AI is evolving into a key part of our understanding of the universe. AI algorithms now analyze huge amounts of data, help spacecraft with telescope instructions for traveling to other worlds, and even help find exoplanets by detecting small light spots. NASA's Kepler and TESS missions have received a lot of help from machine learning algorithms that locate potential planets orbiting distant stars. AI is also being used to model how galaxies form, how dark matter is spread out, and even to predict cosmic events. As we develop more advanced telescopes in space, the amount of data will grow a lot. Without AI, it would almost be impossible to comprehend and process all of this data. AI may, in the future, also aid far-reaching spacecraft in distant regions of the solar system and beyond, making decisions on their own without needing commands from Earth.